Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I'm talking, my, my subject right now is stepped up energies, stepped up energies. So starting off, as you know, the human being, the energy field of the human being is designed to step up energies from the first dimension uh, and on up to the 12th dimension. And uh, the t traditional uh, way that that happens is through the gears of the chakras. The chakras which raise and transform the kundalini energy from the deep depths of densities of, of earth, the, the central core of earth, all the way up to the, to the um, central sun. So, and so the chakras represent gears that make, that sift the energy so that it becomes ever more Mm, refined on the astral and other subtle levels. So the first chakra, uh, old style, uh, had four petals and it sh sifted a, a very um, large grade of, of astral energy, and which is what's employed by that chakra, right? And on up to the thousand petal lotus up at the top of the head, the crown chakra, the top chakra, old style, which had uh, produced and utilized very refined astral and other subtle body energies. So you see, we have within us, in the human energy field, uh, along the central vertical power current, we have gears, known as chakras, which sift and change the energies that are transformed and utilized by the, by the human energy field, from the lowest uh, and least refined and coarsest and densest, representing our most grounded state on Earth, all the way up to the to the very highest. Now, uh, as I mentioned, each chakra represents a density. Um, the first chakra, old style, um, represented uh, a density that is only just one dimension. Um, the second chakra, old style, included both length and breadth, and the third chakra represented uh, the type of duality that we see, which is length, breadth, and depth. So the illusion of uh, time and space, and like that. So um, on up, the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, represents the astral plane, that kind of energy, the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. You could think of as the fifth dimension, Christ consciousness. Um, and so wh which chakra we place our awareness on uh, determines which type of energy we are mm, tr transforming or transforming other energies to. And typically light workers concentrate on the heart energy and transform everything to love, which is sort of the center, center of the human energy field. Um, now, above the fourth chakra, we have chakras that our team, you know, our celestial ascension team, what I sometimes call the ascension team, can, can help us to transform higher, can help us to bring down energies from the central sun and step them down into the heart chakra where we can transform the, the deeper, denser energies, what some call misqualified energies or negative energies that are surfacing up from the depths of, of astral earth today for transformation. So when we call upon our celestial team, we are likely to intercept um, beings of various higher dimensions higher than the heart chakra that will step down central sun energy just as we step up through our own chakras this energy step it down to our heart chakra which is the great transformer so that's the advantage of our celestial team is we don't have to go through that whole process which can be kind of lengthy of starting with way high above our heads and stepping down 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 to the heart chakra and then pulling up the other energy we can ask for that help that divine help the the helpers uh, assigned by God who bring grace from Him to us. Light workers can also work together 
uh, or and ascensioneers and and way showers can can work together. Some channeling our uh, uh, processing the very lowest and levels of energy that are um, misqualified energy that are on Earth today, and bringing them to the awareness of other light workers who bring that up through the chakra, the third chakra, the willpower center, and on up to the heart center where there are those who excel in that energy. So by noticing the energies that our other uh, light worker friends and companions are producing, we can help to gear up the most dense, misqualified hell world energies on earth today and bring them to the awareness of the heart chakra. It's kind of like those primitive um, mechanisms for, for bringing river water up to, to irrigate fields. The, um, the moving of water from one level to the next level, then for high banks up a little higher and on to the level where they, it can be poured out and sent through furrows to irrigate fields, I think maybe in ancient Egypt. And this technology could still be used today um, on fields where it's necessary. Um, and in the meantime, we can use it to dip down into the lowest chakric energies and bring them up for transformation through the heart. Of course, we can also, on our own, single-handedly, um, use the um, root lock and the Mahavand to bring the energies of the Kundalini up through the central vertical power current, previously known as the, as the Kundalini uh, current, through the along the path of the spine and in that way transform the world. So there are many different techniques that can be used. Teamwork techniques both with um, with other light workers who are in form and also with our celestial ascension teams or with those of other people too. We can work in in teamwork uh, using the the activations that I provided such as spirit to team, team to teams, that celestial ascension teams and teams to spirits and then come up with a request for a certain like work. Let us transform all of the disqualified energy around the issue of money and abundance now for the all through free will and then say separate so that our karmic lines are separate and that's just one example.